Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, October 27, 2017. This week, how to bring the colors of fall to leafy brushes. I love autumn when the world is suddenly awash in vibrant color. The store at Designer Digital's is stocked full of leafy autumn brushes that add harvest goodness to your digital projects. The brushes come as ABR Photoshop brush files and also individual PNG images that are designed in black on a transparent background. Using Photoshop gradients, you can recolor the black image with the rich colors of the autumn season. Here's how. Open the PNG brush you want to recolor in Photoshop or Elements. The technique is a little bit different in the full version of Photoshop than it is in Elements. So I'll walk you through the method in Photoshop and then I'll show you how to get the same effect in Elements. In Photoshop, with your image open, click the FX icon at the bottom of the Layers panel and choose Gradient Overlay. This opens up the Layer Styles dialog box. With Gradient Overlay selected, choose Blend Mode of Normal and leave the opacity at 100%. For the style, let's just go with Linear first. And then under Gradient, you'll choose a gradient that has nice fall colors that look like they could be the colors of leaves. I think this one works here. Drag the dialog box to the side so that you can see your brush image. And when you can see it, then you can play with the scale slider here to get the color on the image the way you want it. Like if I go all the way to the left, I'll get more yellow and green. And if I move it to the right, I have more colors in the image. Don't be afraid to experiment with the gradient settings, especially style. So instead of linear, you could choose something like reflected and get a little bit different effect and then always play with the scale because that determines how much of the colors are on the gradient that you're creating. When you're happy with it, drag it back over and click OK. If you're working in Photoshop Elements, open the image and then click the Create a New Layer icon at the top left of the Layers panel. This creates a new transparent layer right above the image. Get the Gradient tool and then look in the Tool Options at the bottom of the screen. You may need to click Tool Options here to see them. Choose a gradient from the drop-down menu. You'll want to choose something that has nice fall colors in it. Leave the mode set to normal and 100% opacity. And then over here, choose Linear Gradient to start. Now move your cursor to the Leaf document and drag out a line. Now you can make this top to bottom or side to side or diagonal. I tend to like to go diagonal on brush images like this. When you do this, you'll see the gradient colors populate on the transparent document. If I went top to bottom, it would look like this and side to side would look like this. But I tend to like to go diagonal because I think it looks a little bit more realistic. Now over in the Layers panel, you can see that your transparent layer isn't transparent anymore. It's filled with that gradient that you chose. Press Alt-Ctrl-G, or on older versions, just Ctrl-G, to create a clipping mask that turns the brush image multicolored. To undo, press Ctrl-Z to go back in the history and choose a different gradient effect. So let's say... I wanted to make the yellow at the bottom and then alt Control g to make the clipping mask. Experiment with the gradient settings like reflected mode to get the color effect that you want. I'll Control z and show you reflected mode. It just has more colors because it's showing a reflection. And then alt Control g to clip. In Elements, go ahead and press Control-E, or on a Mac system, that's Command-E, to merge the gradient with your brushwork. And then switch to the Move tool to drag the brushwork onto your digital project, giving it a touch of autumn magic. Gradients are a super easy way to digitally mimic the varying colors of fall on your digital project. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks.
to learn how to customize gradients.